Welcome to another part of the Pan-European series. Um, we've finally got the O-ring in for this thermostat, so let's go ahead and clean this up. Get the O-ring in, get the new thermostat, which is not this crusty old thing in, and then take it from there. one side and then other side as well. <clears throat> That's just a little bit of waterproof grease to hold the O-ring in. And we have official Honda parts. Mm, smells fresh. There's that, and we also have a new thermostat on the shelf, bear with me. I can't remember which way round this goes, but it's obviously not that way. So it's going to be that way. And probably easier to put it in this side first. And I don't know if this is true of all of these, but actually it won't quite go in that way round. There's a shelf in here. And um, I'm guessing this is either badly manufactured or offset, but that way around it will go in. So let's put that back together. If I can remember what I've done with the bolts. And um, then we'll have a new thermostat. Thermostat back together, coated in ACF 50. All of the channels have been pushed through with a drill or with a little brush. It all looks good. Found the bolts. They were under a pile of other stuff I was doing, as is common for this garage. Um, talk about the cap i haven't bought a new one yet because they're ludicrously expensive i'm told there are some that work for other vehicles honda cars i think the honda accord but i need to do a little more follow-up on that so for the time being i've dunked the existing one in a vapor rust for about a week um without the o-rings in it of course and it looks a bit better so maybe we'll clean it up with a wire brush stick it on for now i don't expect it to hold correct pressure um and we'll sort out a new one as and when. This is the old thermostat, post a date with a wire wheel, the rubber's still a bit crusty, we'll give that a clean off, um, and then the uh, little, I don't know what you call this, it's like a decal but it's made of metal, piece that goes on top, I want to put that back on so I'm just going to shoot this really thick with um, anti-rust paint and then I'll push this on while it's still wet, we'll leave it to dry and that should be uh, good enough for the time being, at least it'll look nice even if it doesn't function properly. All right, the thermostat housing and pipe work is back on. Ignore the splatters over here. I've just shot some black paint down a rusty bolt hole where I pulled the bolt out. Pipe work's back on. Cabling's back on. Pipe work back here is back on. Need to go and look at the previous video to figure out how to route that, although I seem to remember it had a, something to do with the cable clip and that bolt hole there. Um, and then I think we'll take a look at what we can do with the crispy radiator to at least get it to hold some liquid for now. So this is the radiator. I've gone around it with a flat wheel as best I can, but there is no other way to describe this as, as absolutely shot. And I'm under no illusion that there's anything else, to be honest with you. However, there seems to be 
absolutely none of these available for sale at the moment even people like East End radiators who used to make remands no longer carry the pattern for them so for the time being we'll use it no doubt it's going to explode as soon as the bike's up to temperature but at least we can get the bike up to temperature that way and I'll carry on my hunt uh, there's a couple of these for sale um, in Europe so maybe I'll import one depends on the price really just noticed there's a um, manufacturing number there which might be a some help the fan does look like it's salvageable it's hanging from the charger cables over there because I've just given it a rattle can rebuild um, that's made of steel so it's in slightly better nick I've blown through this with the air gun um, but as you can see I'm probably blowing more fins off than I am blowing crud out so I think we'll leave that alone and stop tempting fate I am just for the sake of doing it going to quickly blast down the tanks with some black paint at least so it looks nice on video but like I said I'm under no illusions whatsoever that this radiator is anything other than scrap however now it looks nice Don't be under any illusion, by the way. This is how uh, eBay sellers get their um, mint parts off of bikes this age, ready to stick up for sale. No refunds. Not once you've uh, received it and realised it's just rust with paint on top. <laughs> but yeah, I'll finish this futile task. And um, then we'll pop it on the bike. I've got the cam covers back in place. I've double-checked the timing. I've talked up the... Um, camshaft cover plate bolt I think the only thing I need to make sure not to miss for the time being is um, there's a pipe on the bottom of the thermostat which goes down to the coolant reservoir mostly because if I miss that it will scald me when it gets up to temperature by shooting coolant out um, I'm not for this uh, set of tests gonna put the bars back on because I still need to go over those and um, get the rust off and put some of this on them so I'll hang the radiator dodgily between pipes for the time being somewhere that the fan can clear make sure that's plugged in um, and that's what we'll do to bring it up to temperature remember we're still not entirely sure that this engine isn't scrap so let's carry on while our dodgy paint job dries I've gone ahead and figured out where that clip that I was wondering about before went put the carb boots back on uh, with clamps just gonna blow this out with the air gun um, and then we'll get the uh, the beauty piece back on as well, just for now to stop all this crud flying about. That's the the rubber mat that sits in here, the heat guard. Um, and then we'll pop the carbs on, see if we can remember where all the pipe work went. All right, I think I'm gonna have to call it a pretty light part there because it's gotten quite late here, and I don't want to subject the neighbourhood to the sounds of this thing cranking over ad infinitum while I try and get these uh, carb bowls to fill up. So carbs are back on, rubber nappies back on. The reason it's taken me so long is these have been on and off a couple of times because I needed to get the uh, enrichners working properly. Some of the linkages were in the wrong place. Then I had to get all of the clamps in just about the right place. Then I lost one of these balancer hoses and I had to pop them back off again, fish it out. Um, and then remembered that on one of the hoses down here, I hadn't put the clip back on, the one that goes over to the thermostat. So that's been off and on a couple of times. Carbs are back on. Um, we'll get back to this before I bolt these down. I need to put this 
bucket back on the top as well and uh, go back to the previous video and figure out the hose routing because the Haynes manual diagram is not great um, and then there are a few more wire clips that need to go on to hold these hoses we should be able to stick a fuel bottle on here fill up the bowls um, and then start her up the other thing is the radiator is not dry yet um, and nor is the fan and I don't really want to get black paint all over my hands so uh, we'll pick this back up again in the next part. Thanks for watching.